Welcome, ladies, gentlemen, and gamers to 25 things to add to your city sidewalks to make it feel a little bit more lived in. Now, these are just 25 things you could pepper in um, occasionally throughout your city, make it feel a little more lived in. First thing first, shoe polishing station, which I know, when's the last time you've seen one of these, but it adds so much. Make them different heights to make it so you have one for like full grown adults, you have one for the kids nearby with their dad maybe or something like that. Put in some carpets. These guys are gonna be working on their knees polishing shoes. It's gonna help a lot by having that there. And I went with gray just because, I mean, they've been stepping on, the people getting up there have been stepping on, they're gonna get dirty. Um, use banners to simulate some towels to be able to polish the shoes and you got yourself a shoe polishing station ready to go. Next, if you have a build where it's like, I don't like this skyscraper, I feel like it's pretty bad, pop in some scaffolding. This is scaled down a little bit for the sake of space, but pop in some scaffolding and it makes it so that build that was a little boring, a little bland, now has something to contribute. Um, it makes it look like the city's being is in a growing state. Next, water drains. Add water drains. They make it so it's a little bit more lived in, you're safe, you're not gonna fall in, but it's like the city's ready for weather. Like it makes a big difference adding these every once in a while. Next, hot dog cart. You have your posts here, the jungle uh, jungle fences, to be able to pick this up and move it. Here's the wheels. Buttons, by the way, they go on the block. Not in the item frame, on the block. And this is just something that's a little minor detail, but it works really well, little hot dog carts. Condiments, buns, hot dogs can all be in there. It looks nice, I think. Next, horse-drawn carriage. Horse, thank you for facing the correct direction. You're making this video so much nicer. Um, I went with the... Um, the signs to be able to communicate this door here because I feel like it looks nicer and people are able to climb up get in the ladder hop up here close the door the person up here yeah yeah be able to move I think it looks really nice and this horse here that is now a, turned around is attached by a lead to a fence post hidden underneath um, behind this wheel so I think that works pretty well now here's something that I don't expect a lot of you to do, but you ever see those box drummers? Um, uh, city box drummers where they'll have buckets and bowls and things like that, um, and they'll just drum away. I decide we should make it so, use a little bit of redstone to make it work. So, you're able to make a bass sound, snare, and hi-hat kind of thing. Now, obviously we're in Minecraft, we're limited how quick we can do this, but behind here, just to show you guys, all it is, is there is a comparator, going into here and to demonstrate stone makes bass noise soul sand snare and a glass uh, kind of like a hi-hat um so yeah that's something to be able to add it looks great i think adds to the world uh here is some another water drain design where it's like a graded top it makes it so it's still safe no one's gonna fall in because that if someone falls into a drain city is getting sued immediately so that's one of the things you're gonna be watching for Here's two different uh, light post designs. Uh, this one right here uses an inverted um, daylight sensor to be able to turn it on when it's at nighttime, which I think is a great addition, makes it look nice. Also, the chiseled stone brick really adds to, I think, a city landscape. Now up here, we decide we're gonna use a lever on the back of this one, they're always gonna be on, but I feel like it looks nice. And we have the trap doors up here making things look great. Next, we have the crosswalk. So. This down here, it's a slant like you would see traditionally. Go across the road, yada, 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 nice and safe because we have lights. The iron bars are simulating the wire that'd be holding these up. And these would be flashing um, when people are crossing, but people are not crossing, so they are not flashing. So we're not gonna hook up the redstone because this is a building tutorial. Um, if you wanted to, you could put blocks up here, maybe some iron blocks, to try to simulate that. Use observers every once in a while pointing downwards to get to it whatever you need to to be able to make it work. But I think this looks really nice and communicates the point. Next up, little water spigot. Uh, kind of speaks for itself. Try to keep the water up high because if it's all the way down, you'll notice like, wow, this water fountain has a gallon drum at the bottom to catch the water. That right there, you don't know if maybe the water is like literally a pixel below it. Like it might not hold a lot. It's just full right now. Over here, ice cream cart, ice cream truck something nice simply you might want to put this on the road you might want to put it over here but we have all of our freezers for all the different ice creams you can set this up for the kids to be able to get down i'm going to clear out my inventory for the kids to get up here if they're too short you have your closing window you have your tip jar you have a way out 
It's nice, I think, and it, well, it communicates the point. Flower pots make great tip jars. Over here, imagine it's like a sign of like, this is what is on sale today, special deals. Today's Tuesday, so you get this hamburger. Like, those kind of things outside of a restaurant, outside of a mom and pop store would be fantastic to add in. Over here, if you've ever seen that meme where it's the person standing behind the desk, it's like, controversial issue, change my mind. That's all this is. So, it's a banner um, attached to two trap doors that are kind of just hovering. Works great, in my opinion. I think it's nice. Um, over here, ice cream... I mean, not ice cream, it's a lemonade stand. So you have your traditional, like the two posts to be able to pick up and move um, it forward. The wheels are out in the front. You're able to keep all the lemonade, ice, everything that you need down here, sugar. And maybe here's like a basket of lemons up here. And obviously lemonade stands, you kind of need the umbrella. It's kind of signature, but I think it works great. Next up, an awning for in front of a building, you know, you maybe have a carpet if it's nice and fancy. If not, just a little awning. Keep the rain out. Nice, simple, it works well, and adds to your sidewalks. Um, next up is a table. Now, there's so many cities that have, like, it's people-oriented. Focus on the people, focus on what they need, and a table that is nice, pretty, vibrant, really adds a lot. So it's all stairs that are connected, upside-down stairs, carpets, stone um, slab in the middle, because I wanted to simulate metal a little bit, but I felt like iron was too in-your-face, and a matching umbrella. Works great. Next up right here is the bike rack. So you're able to roll on up, lock your bike into the trip wire hook or bike lock, walk away, come back later, unlock it, keep going. I think that works really well. Uh, different bike rack design is like the bars going across. You're able to put the front wheel over, put a bar through it and lock it to this right here, right through your spokes in your bike. It would work great. I think this is fantastic. Next, trash bin and a little, um, this can maybe be either, it could just be a trash bin or up here, maybe it's the cigarette um, tray. So it is just a furnace facing this way and a dispenser on top and it works fantastic for what we need. Next, we have a fence barbed wire, well not barbs wire, but barbs on top to be able to keep people out because we need to protect things like an upright piano. That might sound strange to some of you that don't live in a city, might sound strange to some of you that do live in a city, but at least the city that I'm nearby and a few others that I have visited have upright pianos for the public to just be able to enjoy, be able to play with people because everyone's able, like, you're able to get three people out to play guitar together. One of you plays piano though, you're kind of limited. So cities sometimes have old upright pianos just out and about, and I think they add to a city big time. Next, we have our little like sidewalk parking. So we have to cut it in at an angle so they can still drive out here when they need to. And up here, it's a little um, coin like meter for you to be able to pay for your time in. So pop it into the front of the dispenser and you'll be all set to go. That's 24 and number 25, keeping it nice and simple. Any of you can do this, I promise. Manhole cover in the middle of your road. Every manhole cover in a city that is shown in movies always has steam coming out. So just get a couple light gray and normal gray glass panes coming from a stone uh, slab and you have yourself a manhole cover in the middle of your city. These are all things just for like sidewalks, things like that. We're not going into roads or intersections or anything like that. But if you have a city, you probably know how to make your roads. You probably know what buildings you wanna build, but the sidewalks might be empty. And here's a few things that you can do to make it so it's a little bit more lived in, a little bit more cared about a little weathered and a lot more interesting so i hope you guys enjoyed and i will catch you guys back here with another tutorial sometime soon goodbye